Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy new year to everybody here from the from the team here at the Unlock Show with Tracy Wilson. I'm your host, and as you can tell, well, my name's Tracy Wilson for sure. Hey, hopefully you guys have been watching over the last year. I've been away, so I'm a little bit. I'm going to say I'm a little bit rusty today. I've been uh, away having a bit of a break with family over the Christmas holidays and the New Year break, and I hope you guys did too. I hope you took some time out to just spend with your uh, your family and your loved ones. And you took some time to actually recharge and reset like I did. Uh, but I must admit, it, you know, it takes a little bit of, of getting back into momentum when you take a bit of time out. I'm going to share with you um, a bunch of stuff that I did over the holiday break, which I think um, will be quite interesting to you guys. And secondly, I'm going to share with you what the heck have I got in store for the Unlock Show in 2022. So I want you guys to stick around uh, and I'll share all of that with you. And if you hang around to the end, I've got a few things to give away today. So so given that today's show is a little bit of a um, deviation from what had been planned, we were going to have the amazing uh, Chris Gray, Dr. Chris Gray on the show with us today, but we're going to move that back um, for, uh, for an unforeseen uh, circumstance. He's not able to join us on the show today, but you guys know it doesn't matter if a show guest isn't able to join what do you do? You just carry on and you go anyway. So I thought today I would share with you guys what I've got in store, what you can expect by watching the Unlock Show over um, over the next year in 2022. And like I said, I've got a few little giveaways to give uh, to you guys for you that are loyal listeners. I've had a bunch of you guys um, tuning in every single week for the last year. And I don't even know how many how many shows I'm up to now. It's over 100 of these shows um, I've been doing over the last, I think, almost two years now. I'm into my second year of doing the Unlock Show, and I absolutely love it. So it is an absolute pleasure to be get back with you guys. Getting back into my regular rhythm and routine of uh, Wednesday morning. So every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Brisbane time, uh, I'll be going live right here on the Unlock Show. So let's kind of give you a little bit of um, bit of detail about what the heck did I get up to over the Christmas break. And I did something that I don't normally do. In fact, I would have been absolute shit scared to do uh, in the past. So what the heck was that? Well, I'm going to unleash that in just a moment. So over the Christmas break, I decided that, you know, given all the stuff that's been going on with COVID and with lockdowns, and uh, for those of you that don't know, I live on the Gold Coast of Australia. So right now, kind of COVID or the Omicron um, variant is running rampant in our, uh, in our community. And so, you know, we've had a lot of, uh, I suppose, a lot less opportunity to be able to go out and do the things that we would normally do, hanging out with friends and family, people being a little bit more cautious, um, as they should you know, rightly so, be doing. Um, so over that time, I had, and given that, you know, previously I used to be able to travel quite a bit, I used to travel back and forth to America, being able to get on a plane with no trouble whatsoever. Um, but as you guys know, and you've probably experienced the same thing, last two years, you haven't been able to go anywhere. So what do you do instead? You've got to get the heck out, right? You've got to get out of the four walls that you live in and the four walls that, well, I work and, work and live in the same four walls. So I want to get out and uh, be able to experience the outdoors. And uh, if you've been listening to a few of my podcasts and my shows, you'll know that I absolutely love camping. Well, let me tell you that uh, these Australian summers can be a little bit let's say unpredictable and a bit harsh, you can get four seasons in one day. So if I rewind just back to before Christmas uh, and, you know, in this time wanting to try and get out, my husband and I decided on a Friday afternoon, we would just pack everything into the car and we would go not too far from our home to do a little bit of a camping over the weekend just to get out and about and enjoy some sunshine. Uh, and on a Friday afternoon, it looked like it was absolutely beautiful, which it was. Uh, and we went and we... Um, and we spent some time at Tallybudger Creek, which is not too far from here. It's a beautiful little campground, not too far from the beach, and uh, and got a whole lot of fun stuff that you can do with uh, your family, which my family usually come down and spend some time with us during the day. Anyhow, when we got there, we usually have a big tent set up. We set up our tent, uh, grabbed our, uh, got ourselves settled in, and as we usually do, we grab ourselves a cup of coffee and our um, thermal mugs, and we walk around the campground, and you're kind of looking at all the different, um, you know, campus, campus trailers, camper tents, etc, etc. And you sort of wonder, hmm, which one of these, you know, it's time to upgrade, which one should we purchase? And as we're wandering around the campground, um, my husband sees this little camper. 
And I happened to be down another lane at this point because I was looking at something else. And he said, Trace, you've got to come over here. Come and have a look. Come and check this out. And uh, anyway, it was this little wee teardrop camper. And there's a bit of a moral to this story. And it's um, and I want you guys to to think about kind of these serendipitous moments that happen, you know, throughout our life. And I don't know about you, but I have these happen on a regular basis. It's kind of strange. But anyhow, um, my husband says to me, hey, come and check this little camper out. And we see this little teeny weeny white thing, but it's got all of the mod cons in it. It's got a, you know, got a bed set up. It's got, um, you know, your, your, um, uh, all the cooking facilities and everything that one would need but it's just a little a really little uh camping setup and we had a bit of a giggle and thought oh you know that's that's kind of cute but probably not really for us anyway as the story goes the next day comes around which is a saturday um friends and family come we have a great time in the pool and then uh as as i mentioned these crazy uh gold coast summers you know all of a sudden you can see look up into the sky and you just see these big black ominous clouds coming overhead and you just know that the skies are about to open and uh you know you're about to be uh not just dribbled on a little bit of a, a little bit of rain but you are absolutely going to be drenched so um Anyway, we're, we're sitting in this pool uh, because all of our kids had gone and uh, we just John and I, only two people in this adult's pool, and uh, we thought we'll get a bit of a swim in before these big black clouds come over. And funnily enough, two other another couple uh, decides that they would, would come and swim in the pool too, just him and I and another couple. And funnily enough, it happened to be the owners of that teardrop trailer. So we were like, what the heck? What are the chances of that? You know, we're talking about this little teardrop trailer. We're the only ones in the pool. And then this other couple um, decide that they would jump in the pool too. So, of course, you spark up a conversation. And I'm going to tell you, strangely enough, so many uh, opportunities have come my way just by being, I don't know, in a swimming pool or a spa pool or a jacuzzi, as um, as my business partners, uh, Vicky and Robin Helm, would tell you, you know, and we spark up some conversation, um, usually in the pool, if you're, you know, having a bit of, chat with the other, bit of a chat with the other people that are there. Anyhow, so we spark up this conversation with the other couple that um, come to the pool. They so happen to be the owners of that teardrop trailer. They start um, talking a little bit about their teardrop and how they've been able to take it kind of everywhere and that gets packed up and um, they don't have a lot of, you know, trouble having to pack things down and keep things um, dry, et cetera, et cetera. Anyhow, quite interesting. We continue to have that conversation. As I mentioned, big black ominous clouds come over overhead. We look up into the sky and we're like, oh, we better move. We've got to get out of this pool and get back to our um, to our campsite, uh, you know, as these black clouds are coming overhead. So what, that's what we do. Both couples get out of the pool. Off we go back to our campsite. And it would have been, I wish that I had actually caught this on camera because it would have been quite humorous. You know, imagine both John and I in our swimwear back at our tent, at, back at our, um, our big tent we call it a big gazebo it's got a tent on the inside he and I just get back there we pretty much step one foot inside the skies open the rain just pelts down um, thunder lightning you can imagine massive big storm and then along come the winds uh, and these winds just whipped up out of nowhere and they were like almost like gale force winds so you can imagine he and I in our swim we're still trying our hardest to hang on to our um, to our camping setup so it wouldn't just take off and uh, believe me he looked at me at one point and said I'm going to trace I'm going to lose this thing and of course I said no you are not you're going to hang on to that thing as hard as you can just hang on anyway so as the pair of us are doing this I got to make the decision do you know what this isn't going to go away this is not going to be a fun night um, and when I'm talking about this I want you guys to think about this also from a business point of view because there are times in our business Business, right where we where we make plans for things to happen and then all of a sudden just like that the skies open up a storm comes along and you've got to think on your feet and you've got to pivot so in this moment I'm like this isn't going to be fun this this plan that we had originally is just not going to work um also having a bit of a, a, a you know it was I'm going to say scary it was funny at the time and I was also thinking god I hope that these other people and these other campers are not looking at us right now because this is not a very pretty sight anyhow so as um all of this is happening I look at him and I go I think we've got to drop this thing and we've got to pack it up so we literally just dropped the tent right down we had to be like little um you know uh 
trolls, I'm going to say, inside of this tent trying to put pack everything up, packed it all up, put it in the car. And as you know, whenever you're trying to put wet stuff away, it just or put your camping stuff away in the back of your car, it just never works out the way that it did when you put it in there. It was all neat and tidy when we got there. Um, but of course, somehow, I don't know, you end up with all this extra stuff that we didn't think we were going to have. And so, of course, I'm sitting in the front seat of the car and I've got uh, camping gear literally up to my eyeballs, not even able to see out of the windows. And I look at John as we're traveling home and I'm like, hmm, think we need to rethink this uh we need to rethink this whole camping situation then uh the story goes on because that night and this is this whole serendipity right and when you put your mind to something things and I want you guys to think about in 2022 there are going to be signs for you kind of littered everywhere they'll be dropped to you as time goes on and you need to be awake and be um watching out for these so anyway as I say to John hey we've got to rethink this uh, this concept and this idea of how we're going to go camping in the future because this works in when there's no wind but when there's a wind and a storm uh yeah this this uh camping arrangement we've got just does not cut it so of course I get home and what is the first thing I do well I jump online and I look for a teardrop camper all right not even in my um my thoughts before going on that trip but I'm looking up a teardrop camper and uh now I know and realize those damn things are friggin' expensive I so happened to find one online and it was really cheap so of course I messaged the guy and said hey is this available he said yeah it is actually I sold it last week but the guy never showed up so now it's still available I'm like cool let's, can we come and have a look at it tomorrow so off we go we go up to um, the Sunshine Coast and we purchase this dirty little I'm going to say almost like a little dog box most people would look at it and said what the heck did you buy and why did you buy that sometimes you just have to buy things with a bit of vision and a bit of um, you know forethought into hey this is what I could do so now I get to what the heck did I get up to over the Christmas break? Well, as you you probably figured out, over the Christmas break, I spent my uh, spare time stripping back a, a a camper trailer, of which I, I did most of it myself. Never had uh, you know had done a lot of that work myself before. Had to um, you know sand down and and grind a the whole trailer because it was full of rust, de-rust it, paint it strip the trailer back, basically strip the whole thing out and re um, and redid it. I'll post some pictures to it after today's show so you'll actually see what I got up to. But also learned a thing or two about how to rewire a trailer. Not the not the um, you know the plug-in uh, uh, 240 volt, but just the 12 volt wiring. So I managed to be able to do all of that too. Now here I get to the next thing, and this is where the you know when I talk about on the uh, the unlock show the family side of things. This is where these projects come in um, to play. And when you have, you've heard me talk about kind of creating family traditions and creating, you know, family moments. Well, that project, the fact that we bought this dirty old little camper, gave my family the opportunity to kind of come together over that time and actually work on something together. Um, of course, you know, I had to drive that, but I was able to actually found out a lot of skills that my children had that I didn't really even know they had. I knew they had, you know, a lot of, knew they had skill, but I didn't actually know that, that I would be able to utilize these skills in these particular ways. So I have three boys. All three of the boys had um, had a part to play in us uh, refurbishing this little camper. So it started out with us taking it around to my son's place, actually parking it in his front yard because we live in an apartment and we weren't able to do it uh, in our basement. So we took it over to his place. Thank you, Nico, for giving up your front yard to, to your mum for um, a number of days and annoying you every day to, uh, to help me out. But, you know, he was able to come out and helped us actually take the entire hitch, uh, the entire um, back <clears throat> hutch off the camper and we redid all of the kitchen and he helped us with that. And then I was able to utilize the skills of my other son, Liam, and he was able to help me, um, you know, undo a lot of the stuff that I wasn't able to undo on the, the camper trailer. And he helped us put together all of, you know, helped me with the electricals. And then my other son, Tyrone, helped with all the carpeting and, um, and recovering a lot of the stuff with marine carpet. So it was really cool that I was able to, you know, use that um, project to bring, out, bring the kids together and get them to work on this little thing uh, with us. 
but also that it actually enabled both John and I to work on something. So John's my husband, but he and I kind of worked on these things. I'm more, he, he's very good with um, numbers and, and demolition. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of like the planner and the organizer and the one that does more of the technical stuff. So it's really up my alley. Anyway, so we started working on this little camper and when we brought it back to our apartment uh, building, we had it downstairs. This is where it got um, quite heartwarming, actually, because John and I would go downstairs every day and we would just do, even if it was just an hour, just work on something on that trailer together. We sort of plan what we were going to do. We'd go downstairs and we'd do it. And as um, the weeks and the days went by, more and more we were down there, more and more of our elderly residents in our um, apartment building would come over and be interested in what we were doing and be like every day come past and say, well, what have you done today? You know, how are you going with that? And in fact, can we borrow it? Will you, will, will you decide to rent this out? And one day, um, one gentleman who'd been visiting us every day, he came over to us in the morning and he was watching us put together the electricals for it and had a bit of a chat. And about 50, he went away and about 15 minutes later, he came back. And he said, um, do you know the real reason why I come over here? Can I let you in on a little bit of a secret? And I thought, oh, oh here we go. What's this all about? And he said, you know what? The reason I come over here is because I actually love the fact that you two, a husband and wife, are actually working on a project together. That is not seen very often. It is pretty much unheard of these days. Most, you know, he said, you know, most marriages don't even last three years, let alone being able to come down and work on a project um, and not have arguments like, like I've watched you guys over the last couple of weeks. And I'm going to say, you know, finding projects that both you and your husband and potentially even your children can work on really, really make a huge difference. And it makes a difference to be able to um, improve your communication with one another and obviously for everybody to get buy-in and, and on the project that you're doing and that elderly man was absolutely right it's very unusual to see families actually doing that stuff together so I would encourage you guys aside from you know working really hard on your business this year um, to find some projects that you can do as a family as a if it's just a husband and wife team as a partnership or as an extended family that you guys can actually work on it might be something really Really small it might be a big project but if you do it together you'll find that you'll have an improve you'll improve the level of communication that you have and an appreciation for one another and you probably will also find out additional skills that each other has and you'll learn to work together on things so the other crazy thing that I did over that uh, Christmas break, which I have never, ever done before, because as you know, and you're, you can imagine working in the field that I work in, you use technology on the regular. I, you know, social media and my phone and my computer are kind of the lifeblood of everything that I do. So the thought of kind of switching off all technology over that time was like super, super scary. But um. I decided on Christmas Eve, my phone went flat and, and the kids were like just having so much fun and I was enjoying my time with them. And they'd often say to me, mum, just put your phone down. You know, you can get back to that later. So I actually ended up, you know, one day went past and I didn't turn my phone on. That And that turned into a full 10 days of just complete... Uh, you know, signing out of all technology. And I thought at the time I was actually really, really nervous about turning my phone and my computer back on on the last day, thinking, God, oh, what am I going to go back to? And you know what? That was a, that was often we stress about things and we worry about things for absolutely no reason because I switched my phone back on and I had very few, no issues and very few things that I had to actually go back to. So it just goes to show that sometimes, you know, taking that little bit of a break and not having to hear all the noise and, and think about, you know, what's going on even in the media, it really just gave time to spend with family and friends that I love dearly and I could just really recharge and get focused on, you know, spending some time on myself and uh, recharging and getting focused on what 2020 was going to, is going to bring. Which leads me to what is 2020 going to bring? What will the Unlock Show with Tracy Wilson look like in 2022? Well, here's what I have planned for you guys. So as you know, every single Wednesday I go live. I'm going to say in most cases, uh, when we're able, uh, we're, we get a guest on board. And all of those guests are going to be in alignment with 
you know, finding your voice, uh, helping you to improve your business uh, skills and expertise, and they will be top of the line guests. So I want you guys to uh, put in your diary, make sure that you tune in every single Wednesday, 10 a.m. Brisbane time, because I will be bringing you some world-class guests to the Unlock Show. And if you have any questions, you can always make sure that you're able to uh, communicate with me through the comments so that I can ask uh, answer those questions for you. Now, on Fridays, I'll also be doing the Unlock Show. It'll be a solo show, just me. And I'll be taking you guys through how to build a really successful online business, how to find your voice. And I'll be talking about uh, even things like how do you grow your influence and your authority in 2022? There are some massive changes that have been happening. And if you are not already uh, using video to grow your business or to grow your influence and authority, you absolutely should. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you guys and share with you how to do that. And if you want to and you're ready to do something about that now, then you can actually go to the, go to www. I'll put this also in the comments. www.freedomseekersway.com forward slash LSLA. Both Vicky Helm and I have actually put together a, a free program for you guys to do. It teaches you how to go live over 14 days. We actually hold your hand and take you through the things that you need to do to start launching your very own live show. That's going to help you to build your influence, your authority and your exposure, and also help you to align your messaging with your products and services. So head on over to that. There you go. Robin Helms actually just popped that into the uh, the, the chat for me. So if you would like to take advantage of that free uh, that free program, then go to freedomseekersway.com, L-S-L-A, and get yourself onto, uh, onto that program and work your way through it. If at any time you need help, you've got opportunity to be able to ask both Vicky and I any questions uh, inside of a uh, inside of a Facebook group that we have available to you guys too. And of course, I'm always available to ask answer any questions that you guys have. I did say that I was going to give away some stuff, um, and true to my word, I'm going to give away some stuff. So I have in my hot little hand today. A copy of the She Myth book. You guys will know that this book came out uh, this time last year, and we are in the process. So you're going to see over the next couple of days the audio version of the She Myth book is about to be released. So you'll see that in the next week or so. But for now, for today, I have got a copy of the She Myth book available. I'm going to give that away to one lucky viewer um, who comments on the uh, comments on the show today. I want to know. Tell me what is it, what is your, um, what will I like to know about you guys? Just tell me where you're dialing in from. Just tell me that. Just put that into the comments and I will choose somebody today. So by 4 p.m. this afternoon, I will choose a winner, somebody who comments and tells me where they are dialing in to the show today only. And I will make sure that I send you a copy of the She Myth book. The other thing that I have got available to you for today, well, in fact, I'm going to hold this one off. I'm going to leave it for Friday. So if you tune in on Friday, I'm going to tell you guys how you can get a copy of the Freedom Seekers Journal. Let me tell you a bit, little bit about the journal. If you are in the process of planning out your 2020, you want to get your hands on a copy of the Freedom Seekers Journal. Uh, and it will help you to plan. And it's also a journal that is interactive. It's the first interactive journal in the world that will enable you to use the, the art of tapping, so EFT tapping, to help you get rid of any blockages or any uh, self-limiting beliefs that you might have that maybe have prevented you from moving forward in the past. So you can utilize both the journal to help you plan, but also the interactiveness of it with the uh, EFT tapping that uh, Brad Yates does for us. So Brad Yates is one of the leading authorities when it comes to EFT tapping around the world. So we've, we've got Brad help, uh, who has created all of the tapping videos that go with the Freedom Seekers Journal. You guys are going to be able to tap in and get a copy of that absolutely free too. But you need to join in to our Friday show to be able to get a copy of that. And I'll have a little something that you'll need to do and you'll need to be on the show live. So make sure that you get here live at 10 a.m. on Friday and uh, you'll be in the running to be able to get your hands on on a copy of the Freedom Seekers Journal and also the accompanying program that goes with that. 
So I want to say for now, we've got a bunch of uh, people lined up on the Unlock show for our Wednesday show. So keep uh, stay tuned for those. You'll see the advertisements come out. Uh, Dr. Gray, uh, Dr. Chris Gray, who was supposed to be on the show with us today, you know, I'm going to have to be, I'm going to say that we're going to be a little bit flexible this year because we know that with COVID um, and and some of the stuff that's going on, you know. Sometimes people can't sh can't show up. Sometimes they get knocked down with um, you know with whatever might be going on, and we just have to be flexible. So as much as I might advertise that there'll be a particular guest on, if at the last minute we need to make a bit of a switcheroony, then of course I'm still going to be going live, and I'll be sharing something else with you guys to help you grow your business, to make your life, your business. Uh, and your family better. That's what the Unlock Show is all about. So I want to say um, welcome back to welcome back to the show. Welcome to 2022. I am thoroughly looking forward to seeing everybody thrive in 2022. I think it's going to be an amazing year, even though it started off a little bit bumpy with what's going on with Omicron and what have you. I think we've got a lot to be grateful for and a lot to, to look forward to. So let's just keep moving forward and keep super focused. Now is the time where you kind of need to put on those... Um, horse blinkers and make sure that we're uh, focused on all the things that you you need to do. I know certainly for me, this year is not about adding more. It's actually about subtracting a whole lot of stuff, you know, and just picking and choosing the things that I really, really want to um, want to be focused on to make sure that I'm able to be successful uh, in the right areas this year. And keep stay tuned because I'll share a lot of that stuff with you guys uh, over the coming weeks tell you how we're going about planning, tell you what we've got coming up. Uh, but the main thing is, the thing that I'm super focused on is a program that we've got called the Freedom Seekers Way, where I actually, it's got a mastermind and I actually teach people how to create their own live show. They connect that with their own uh because signature online program, and they actually get to write their very own book. Both Vicky Helm and I are the uh, are the principal coaches inside of uh, those program, principal mentors, and we absolutely love the students that we work with. And we're looking forward to working with. You know, we're looking for another twenty in this next quarter. So if that's something that you guys want to do over the next year, you want to actually have your own show up and running. You want to be able to connect that with your own signature program and be able to make money online and you would love to be able to turn that into a book, then it's high time you got in touch with uh, either Vicky or myself. And if you want to just type, you know, freedom seekers, uh, I'm a freedom seeker into the chat. And I'll also make sure that we reach out to you and we can have a bit of a chat about that and see whether or not that program is a good fit for you in 2022. But I'm going to say thanks very much for tuning in today. A bit of a um, bit of a detour from our, our uh, original plan. But hey, who cares? Doesn't matter. That's what live show is all about, right? We just you just pivot and you carry on. So thanks very much for being here. I'm Tracy Wilson. This is the Unlock Show, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys back again Friday. Don't forget, because I've got something. Uh, I've got the Freedom Seekers Way journal and program to give away to you guys if you tune in on Friday. All right, guys, and I will announce the winner for the She Myth book uh, a little bit later today, based on the comments that uh, that uh, you guys. Uh, type in and I can see somebody's already tuning in from Melbourne. So, all right, guys, have a fantastic rest of the week and I'll see you guys again on Friday. Bye for now.